Hey guys, this is me Yogesh Pal, and today I am going to present a short review on Cyanogen Mod 11 M8 snapshot version that was released on 8th of July 2014. And uh, to begin with, uh, let me show you the Android version. Basically, CM11 M8 snapshot is based on Android 4.4.4 and uh, as you can notice the frame rate is a bit low but i guess uh, it is acceptable um, showing you the device that is galaxy s3 i have installed cm11 on my galaxy s3 the cyanogen mod it's cm11 and the date is mentioned in the snapshot m8 for the model number and the android version is 4.4.4 as you can see kitkat the usual KitKat sign and it says Android 4.4 okay and uh, the CM11 version I guess it's hold on yeah here it is CM logo and Cyanogen Mod 11 okay uh, that's for about it about the phone and uh, coming back to the menu um, as uh, you can see uh, here in the settings area on the top right corner of the settings there is a search button and now you can search for any of the options in the search options for example if I want to search for notifications now all of the things related to notifications will be here and uh, for this notifications is the main heading main menu and I get to notification settings and uh, also in CM11 a name of the few settings have been changed oops sorry Also in CM11, the name of few of the settings have been changed. Lock screen remains the same. Themes remains the same. Status bar remains the same. And notification drawer is the new setting, actually. And it was a earlier used to be interface, I guess. And also in CM11 M8, you get the new themes version, where you can specify the styles, icons, fonts, wallpapers, lock screen, etc. individually that is you can select, select from various themes that are available online and for example I have installed Samsung Galaxy S5 and when I select this uh, I get to set the style wallpaper lock screen etc unfortunately I don't have lock wallpapers fonts icons boot animations with this, with, with this theme but basically you can find a lot of themes that offer all these uh, options and uh, going to the menu again the sound uh, I find is a bit higher in the loudspeaker uh, the earlier release had a bit of low sound and uh, with this version it is quite high and I can hear the ringtone very well also when listening to songs on loudspeaker it is very nice now uh, all the usual parameters or the you know the specialities you find in CM are present in this version also and uh, the performance mode and super user mode are a bit um, you know you can say helpful for example whenever I, I used to play games then uh, um, sorry I go to uh, performance and it says uh, okay then I can select from the processor to actually govern the performance which I opt for for example on demand if I want the performance on demand and user space where the whole of the CPU performance is shifted and power save for saving the power Pegasus is the most you know uh, most desired option because it is based on the default settings of the CPU and now and also there is no camera fix in this 
update also uh, whenever you start a camera you ca get an error can't connect to camera after you open the app two to three times and click photos with that or record videos with that and basically you can find the solution to this problem by downloading a app known as camera cm fix which can be downloaded from cm11 uh, well it works most of the time and it does not require you to reboot your device to for working of the camera again and uh, it sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work but uh, ultimately you have no other option rather than to download this and uh, rest the dialer it is a new dialer in which the favorites have been placed in two columns and these are very much large pictures as compared to the other one the earlier versions you can see the dialer it is also changed it has a decrease in the size horizontal uh, vertically mm, rest the all the settings remains the same and uh, I'm uh, you know I have installed this version since the last four to five days and I have, I have not experienced any problems with that that is uh, any and also the animations are buttery smooth yeah you, though you can't notice in this video but the animations are superb and also the menu we used to have in the earlier CM versions have also changed now the menu for the the settings for the app drawer are also placed in the same same place yeah you can see the app settings the larger icons and protected apps icon labels show uh, and the you know the scroll effects etc have been placed and uh, 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 in place of settings now you can see themes earlier it used to be settings here but now it has changed to themes and widgets and wallpapers remains the same and one more important thing in this uh, version I found is uh, when you click on a folder for example you click, click on this folder and you can see the various applications and if you wish to log these applications in this folder particularly in this folder not in the app drawer then you can click on this small icon over here that is in form of a log and you can click here and these are protected apps now you are advised to set up a lock pattern for example I set up the, like this okay okay my security pattern is different okay now I can say uh, for example I wish to sorry mm. I go okay and I click to lock I make my lock pattern now I, uh, I while cl by clicking on the white lock on the upper side you can see that the folder is now locked see it's locked now and here uh, these are the protected apps this was a feature that was bought into CM11 M8 now you can you just have to put uh, your pattern and uh, you can o open the application from here by clicking for example I wish to open gmail and I get the gmail so this is this and uh, no, I don't want to lock it so I'm going to unlock it again and uh, okay. and now here we go it's okay it's back and uh, uh, the the Google now as usual it is it you can do many other things with Google for example okay Google who is the Prime Minister of India okay yeah uh, I'm sorry I am far away from my Wi-Fi network as you can see the signal is weak so it's okay also the app drawer uh, you can drag with both your fingers to have the bigger notification counts and as I have said I can drag it with one finger to get this notification bar now you can change the settings if you want and uh, you can edit it from here you can change all the tiles layout by adding if you want to add for example these are not they have not been added in the notification drawer 
and you wish to if you wish to remove something you can simply drag it over to delete and it, it can be deleted um, uh, I'm not going to delete my settings and also one important feature that remains hidden by many of the manufacturers of mobile phone and developers of Android is in is the heads up notification that have been uh, uh, provided in CM11 as you can see the pop-up notifications are enabled now whenever a new app, uh, whenever a new you can say notification comes uh, it simply displays wherever you are um, I mean whichever place in mobile phone you are operating for example you are playing a game or etc I haven't experienced it in the game but uh, while doing uh, while browsing or while um, um, listening to music uh, the notification is simply pops up on the screen uh, it's a nice feature because uh, you, you don't have to you know drag your notification bar every time you have to see a notification you can just get get the notification similar to the ios and uh, all of the settings are present in this it's a very, overall it is a very good uh, update and i recommend you to update to this version because uh, you get good features in addition to the earlier version of CM though the camera fix has not been implemented yet but this is a nice update so this was all about CM11 thanks for watching this video hit like if you like it thank you